Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the Saudi Eastern Region Armed Forces Commander Major General Saeed bin Abdurrahman Abu Astaf in the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi and the Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi. The Commander-in-Chief praised the strong Bahraini-Saudi relations enhanced by the constant keenness of the two leaderships to develop them in various fields. The BDF Commander-in-Chief also received the Israeli Chief of Staff, Aviv Kochavi, in the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, and the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Dia bin Sagar Al Naimi. The Commander-in-Chief and the Israeli Chief of Staff discussed supporting stability and peace in the region and issues of common interest. The Kuwaiti Prime Minister Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah received the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia bin Abdullah Zainal. The meeting discussed Bahraini Kuwaiti relations and means to strengthen them. The Kuwaiti Prime Minister praised the deep relations and their progress at all levels as a result of the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Kuwait Emir, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. He expressed his appreciation for the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in supporting bilateral cooperation. The speaker conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Kuwaiti Prime Minister. She affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to enhance cooperation in various fields and create more opportunities, programs and investment projects that would contribute to achieving aspirations. Zainal expressed the legislative branch's aspiration to enhance economic investment and trade relations with Kuwait. The Representatives Council Speaker Fawziya Zainal and the Speaker of Kuwait's National Assembly Marzouk Ali Al Ghanim held a joint parliamentary discussion session at the Kuwaiti National Assembly headquarters in the presence of Bahraini Ambassador to Kuwait Salah Ali Al Malki where they discussed means of boosting the Bahraini-Kuwaiti cooperation. Zainal praised the historical and strategic relations between the two brotherly countries and their steady growth at all levels as a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. Al Ghanim described bilateral relations as a distinguished model in solidarity and common destiny. He lauded the growing relations between the two brotherly countries, praising the comprehensive development march in Bahrain led by his Majesty the King. He also congratulated the Representatives Council Speaker on her presidency of the Arab Interparliamentary Union, wishing her and the Kingdom further success. The president, uh, president of the Supreme Council for Health, SCH, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received Israeli Minister of Health Nidzan Horowitz and his accompanying delegation. The Minister of Health Faiqa Al Saleh and senior officials of the health sector in the kingdom were present. The SCH president welcomed the delegation, stressing the importance of further broadening areas of cooperation to enhance the steadily growing relations between Bahrain and Israel at all levels. He asserted that the initiatives to develop the health sector in the kingdom enjoy the unlimited support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised the ongoing efforts to enhance health cooperation between the two countries, citing the Memorandum of Understanding signed between the two sides to pave the way for more cooperation and exchange of expertise in combating global epidemics, emergency management, medical and pharmaceutical systems, education and training. During the meeting, the visiting delegation was briefed on the role of the SCH in devising and following up on the implementation of the National Health Plan. A presentation was given on the Kingdom's successful efforts in combating the novel coronavirus and the role played by the National Health Regulatory Authority. The meeting also touched on the Supreme Committee for Overseas Treatments, tasked with following up on the situation of Bahrainis who are receiving treatment abroad, in addition to the visiting doctor program, aiming to hire world-class specialists to treat difficult or incurable cases at home. 
The Israeli delegation paid a visit to the Salmania Medical Complex and were informed on its sections and services. Members of the delegation lauded the level of the health system in the kingdom and the precautionary measure in place to curb the spread of the pandemic. They also commended the competence of the qualified national health cadres at various health facilities in the kingdom. The delegation also praised the health sector's capabilities that match international health systems, stressing that Bahrain's experience is a success story and a role model for implementing health systems. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, participated in the 157th session of the Arab League Council at level of foreign ministers held in Cairo and headed by the Lebanese Minister of Foreign Affairs and Immigrants of Lebanon, Dr. Abdullah Habib. The minister delivered a speech in which he noted the challenges and threats facing the Arab world, calling for joint Arab action in order to preserve the security and stability of the region and its people. He added that the Palestinian cause will always remain the central one for the Arab nation, stressing Bahrain's firm position that calls for achieving comprehensive and just peace in the Middle East as a strategic option. The minister expressed Bahrain's denunciation of the attacks carried out by the terrorist Houthi militia against Saudi Arabia and the UAE, affirming the kingdom's full support for all steps taken by the two brotherly countries to confront such attacks. He also expressed congratulations to Yemen on the issuance of the UN Security Council resolution designated the Houthis for the first time as a terrorist group in an important step that will contribute to reducing the capabilities of the terrorist Houthi militia. The Arab foreign ministers discussed topics on the agenda, including the preparation for the upcoming Arab summit in Algeria. The ministers also discussed the political, security and humanitarian developments in Ukraine and the efforts being made at the international level to stop the war and settle the crisis through diplomatic means. Bahrain has advanced by nine points in the Women, Business and the Law 2022 report issued by the World Bank on the first of the month, in addition to its global leadership in the Wage Index. On this occasion, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Hamaydan, affirmed that the continuous support for the empowerment and advancement of Bahraini women and the enhancement of their qualitative opportunities in various fields, especially their support in the labor and entrepreneurship sector, and the updating and development of national legislations necessary to enhance their competitiveness in labor has contributed to making further achievements and the consolidation of Bahrain's advanced position in regional and global forums. This is a new international achievement that affirms the kingdom's competitive competitiveness in the field of women's empowerment and in the labor sector and enhances its role in the fields of entrepreneurship. The improvement comes in light of the development of the relevant national procedures, legislation and laws that have been enacted through cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. The Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed Al Rumehi received the fellows of the seventh batch of the Prime Minister Fellowship Program. Al Rumehi stressed the program's success throughout the six batches. He affirmed that the Prime Minister Fellowship Program launched by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa is a pioneering and ambitious initiative that prepares exceptional young Bahrainis from various government entities for a career in public service leadership. Al Rumehi added that the program's obje objectives are in line with the development process objectives led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The fellows thanked the minister for his continuous interest and motivation in governmental institution development. Under the generous patronage of the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, His Excellency Mr. Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa, and in the presence of the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Bayan School, Dr. Sheikh Amey bin, Sule bin Suleiman Al Atabi, and with the participation of Bahrain Bayan School graduates, Rashid Al Arafi, Ahmed Al Manai, and Abdullah bin Hindi, designers of the creative work Al Tila Chair, which was showcased at the Dubai Expo and won the Wallpaper Design Award, the 11th annual exhibition of visual arts for students of the International Baccalaureate Program under the title Reflections and Reflections was opened. Sheikh May expressed her deep thanks to everyone who attended and participated in this event and made it a successful achievement for the IB department.
Bahrain strongly condemned the launch of a drone by the terrorist Houthi militia from Al Hudaydiyya governorate towards Jizan in Saudi Arabia in desperate and deliberate attempts targeting civilian facilities and innocent civilians and in a flagrant violation of international humanitarian law. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs praised the efficiency and readiness of the Saudi Air Defense Forces that were able to destroy the drone and affirmed the kingdom's full support to confront anyone who tries to target Saudi Arabia's security and stability.